This is Hot Boys Garage, episode 26. In this video, I'm gonna take a 2019 Suzuki LTZ 50cc Kids Quad, that's the four-stroke version of the 50, and make it a little less slow. I'll show you how to remove the speed restrictor collar that will give you an increase in top speed from about eight mile an hour to 15 mile an hour. And we're gonna remove a couple of the clutch rollers to make the bike a little bit quicker. Now this is the second video that I've done on the Z50 on the Hot Boys Garage channel. The first video was episode 11 and I'll stick a link to that one in this video's description. But in that video, I go over stuff like how to remove the battery, the electronics, the plastics, the air box, how to remove the carburetor and clean it, how to swap the spark plug, and how to do engine oil and final gear drive oil changes, and also how to set up and install a Dynatech ignition on one of these little bikes. So check out that video if any of that sounds interesting to you. All right, let's jump into it. There's a few tools you're gonna need. A Phillips screwdriver, large and small, and or a drill, 17 millimeter and 10 millimeter sockets, ratchet, and I also use both a small and a large Milwaukee Impact. All right, first step will be to remove this black plastic foot guard. And to do that, we'll need to remove two screws here, Phillips head one and two. There'll be five little plastic push pin grommets here that we'll need to remove. We've already removed most of these. Uh, last video I did, I couldn't figure out how to get these things out of here, but you just push in the center of them with like a, uh, a small screwdriver and they'll release and you can pull them out. And then two 10 millimeter bolts down here on the bottom. And then with all the hardware removed, you can kind of take the pull starter, push it behind the plastic guard and lift this up and out of the way. With that foot guard removed, you can see the primary cover. We'll need to take and remove the cover vent up here and that just pulls off. Then we'll need to take and remove five 10 millimeter bolts that hold the primary cover on. One here, one here, one back here, and then there's two on the bottom. One here, and one over here. With all those bolts removed, you can pull your primary cover off. Be careful doing this. You can see here with the primary cover off, <clears throat> there is a gasket. You wanna make sure that stays on one side or the other and doesn't rip. And there are a couple of dowels, one there, and then one stayed in the cases here on the back side. All right, next step will be to remove this 17 millimeter nut right here off of the front part of the clutch. I think they make a special tool for this to like hold this while you loosen it up, but uh, my special tool is gonna be a Milwaukee half inch impact and we're gonna zip that thing off there. All right, with the nut off, we can pull this outer piece off. It's got a washer in here. Just uh, be aware of that. Pull that off and set it aside. And then we'll need to pull off this uh, big gear here. I think this is what engages the, the starter. All right, with this large gear out of the way, you kind of take and slip the belt off of the front, kind of push it down out of the way. We're gonna take and pull this whole front clutch assembly out as one unit. And there's a few pieces in here. So this is what it looks like coming out. Here's the back piece take this over to the bench and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, here's what we got on the bench. So there is an internal collar here that runs almost the full width of this guy. You can pull it out. And that thing that just dropped down is the actual speed collar. This is the piece that will remove if you wanna speed your 50 up from around eight mile an hour top speed to 15 mile an hour top speed. So if you want the speed collar to go back in, it goes on this bushing like this and then it goes back through the front side this guy like this so this outer edge of this bushing captures the speed collar on reassembly we'll revisit the orientation of this long bushing there's an important piece with when uh, reassembling this of whether or not you've got the speed collar on or whether you've got the speed collar off we'll go over that in just a minute next piece is if you flip this thing over and this is the back side the side that faces the engine you can take and remove this guy it's got like little rubber bushings here that index on this other piece flip it off and you've got six rollers in here and i guess these are just weights that affect how quickly the clutch does or doesn't engage i mean if you got all six of these in there the engine's kind of sluggish on take up what i do is i remove three of these they just pull right out so i'll remove every other one 
and reassemble it with only three of those weights in there. So only having three of these weights in here should allow the engine to rev up some more before it engages and takes off. That way it's not so sluggish. Now we've only got three rollers in there and we can reassemble. So I mentioned earlier about this long bushing and the importance of the orientation of this guy. Whether or not you've got the speed restrictor in or you've got the speed restrictor removed. So if you're removing the speed restrictor, need to go ahead and flip it and orient it like this and put it in this front piece like so to where the flange is towards the engine. Go ahead and seat it all the way down in and then you'll take this backside piece, line up the rubber grommets with the little triangle T indentations and we'll go over and reassemble it like so. All right, so the reason we assembled that bushing in here the way we did is so that the belt will ride on this smaller diameter piece. Once we put it back in, that belt's gonna ride on that and you'll get your speed increase. So if we were to reassemble this the way that it came apart with the speed collar, I'll show you what would happen. This bushing would go in the front like it was disassembled, flange out. That flange bottoms out on this back piece here and you're left with a gap here between this flange and this piece of the clutch that's not very wide. I don't know if you can see it or not but that belt is a bit wider than the width that it's supposed to ride on here. So what's going to end up happening is the belt's going to ride up on here. You're not going to get your speed increase and likely it's going to wear the belt out prematurely. So that's why we reassembled it the way we did when removing the speed collar. This flange piece should go inside towards the rear of the motor. You're using the speed collar like so obviously that flange is there to capture the collar make sure it doesn't go anywhere all right so enough about that first step make sure your starter didn't fall out your starter clutch starter gears over here and then we'll take our assembly and put it back up on the shaft slide it in all the way and then slip the belt up and over the shaft and the bushing and to do that you might have to squeeze the belt on the rear piece a little bit and then work it up and onto the shaft. And if the belt is still hard to get up onto uh, this collar piece or the bushing, just take and squeeze it together back here and that'll give you some slack so you can slip it up and on. Next, we'll take the big gear, put it back on the shaft and it goes on the splines here of the shaft and you can take this outer piece that engages the pull starter, put it back on. It goes on the splines as well. Make sure you've got that little outer washer there. Slip it back up and on, and then put your 17 millimeter nut back on. Start it by hand, thread it in to where it's finger tight. Take and move this, make sure everything feels like it's moving okay. And then we'll tighten this bolt up all the way. There probably is a torque spec for this nut. I don't know what it is and I don't have the special holder tool. So I'm gonna take the small impact 17 millimeter socket and give it a couple good whacks. And take your outer cover, make sure your gasket's in good shape, make sure both of the dowels are in place and present. Slip it back in, match it up to the case. Replace the five 10 millimeter bolts. Make sure on this top one, if you've got a ground cable like I do, that you reinstall that. Snug these down, but don't get too crazy because this is cast aluminum that we're going into here. Don't want to pull the threads, strip anything out. And then make sure you put your breather hose back on up here, like so. And then the last step is to put the plastic foot guard back in. Get your pull starter pulled through. Make sure these tabs are behind the yellow. And your two 10 millimeter bolts will go down on the bottom. Five plastic grommets go back in and the Phillip head screws go to the back and the front. All right, that's it for this episode. Hopefully it was helpful to you. If so, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching.